the beginning of the hurricane season this year, you tried to hold up a five-year extension of FEMA's National Flood Insurance Program. Um, it was tied to an amendment about personhood, something totally different about life beginning at conception. Why did you do it? Well, what we have always maintained, many on our side, is that FEMA should uh, exist on money that comes in as revenue, but not on borrowed money. So really the fight was about whether or not we should borrow money for FEMA or whether it should come from existing funds. To me, it's a matter of priorities. We send billions of dollars overseas to aid other countries. I'm for keeping that money home and paying for FEMA with that money rather than borrowing money. And so, so you don't have a problem with FEMA. I mean, I guess what, what I'm saying, you know, we see today these people, they're in such desperate, desperate straits. A lot of them are... No, I, think, I, th I think FEMA tries hard. I think they're like many government agencies. Sometimes they're successful and sometimes they're not. You know, um, I'm hoping maybe the ice they have in the warehouse, it's been there since Katrina that they never could use. Maybe they could use that this time around. Or maybe some of the housing that they had in Arkansas that spent years in Arkansas and never got to Katrina. So government's inefficient at this, but I'm not saying government doesn't have a role. I personally, though, have seen up close the Salvation Army, Red Cross, and others, and immediate responders, local firefighters, local policemen, being much more effective. Ultimately, the federal government comes in, but really your best chance of being saved, your life being saved, is really by your local police force or fire force. So you think if, if, if that was who was in charge you'd have more temporary housing and in the right places? I mean, I know you were just, you know, with the, the re remark that you made about the temporary housing. Well, I'm housing not really Arkansas. talking so much. I think there, well, I think there are different responses. You know, there's an immediate response, and those are the first providers that are there, the physicians, the nurses, the firefighters, the policemen, and I think that's what happens immediately. Later on, there is talk, and really within a, a day or two, talk of temporary housing and things, but a lot of that's also <clears throat> done locally. When we had tornadoes that <coughs> devastated two cities in our, in our community here in Kentucky, uh, the churches stepped up and fed the uh, first responders. 2,000 responders a day were being fed by churches, mm -hmm. and the people were being put up in houses. So I don't entirely think this is a government response. I think it's important to really laud the, the private folks as well as the churches who step up and help as well.